Hi, I'm Eric Grundhauser, community editor at Atlas Obscura, and I'm here to show you the greatest statue in Budapest. Discovering little-known public statues is one of the great unsung wonders of travel. And the greatest public statue in the world, for my money, is the Bronze Columbo in Budapest. Budapest is a city of statues. You have the iconic little princess sitting by the Danube, the policeman statue that is said to grant good luck with a belly rub like some kind of authoritarian Buddha, or the anonymous notary of King Bella, also known as Master P. Wandering the city streets, it can seem like there's a new statue or monument popping up every few feet. Now, leaving aside discussion of the troublesome politics of modern-day Hungary, after over a century of political turmoil, having been variously occupied and influenced by other cultures from the Austrians to the Soviets, preserving native Hungarian culture is an important part of the city's character. Figures both major and minor have been captured in bronze in locations across the city, immortalizing literary figures, sports stars, and Ronald Reagan, all in celebration of their various Hungarian connections. In the spirit of this wide-reaching appreciation for all things the Magyar Republic can call its own, the Colombo statue was born. For those who aren't familiar with Colombo, well, shame on you. Lieutenant Columbo was the main character in a series of TV movies and later a series that aired between 1971 and 2003. Played by American actor Peter Falk, Columbo was a cigar-chomping, salt-of-the-earth detective who looked like he'd never laid hands on an iron. To say he was rumpled would be very correct. An archetypical wise-ass gumshoe, Columbo was a vintage television treasure, without which we never would have had shows like Castle, Bones, House, and probably a bunch of other one-word detective shows. The actor Falk, who died in 2011, was rumored to have been related to 19th century Hungarian writer and political figure Miksa Falk. While Peter Falk did have some concrete Hungarian heritage, his familial connection to Miksa Falk seems to have been mostly coincidence. Despite this connection never having been exactly proven, the possibility was enough. The statue of Peter Falk's Columbo was erected on the Budapest Street, named after Miksha Falk, as part of general civic improvements in the area in 2014. They even added Columbo's pet dog, whose name was Dog, because who doesn't love a dog? Budapest Columbo statue might not be the most sober bronze monument in the city, or the most secret, or the most popular, but it stands out as a singular example of the fascinating and wonderful oddities our global culture can inspire. Generations of strife and political upheaval leading to a need for cultural appreciation so strong that it burst a monument to an increasingly obscure television character from halfway across the world. You don't have to be Columbo to know that's a monument worth investigating. Hey, thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this one and possibly even better. Why don't you head down to the comments and tell us what television character do you think should be immortalized in bronze?